Dear Dr. Santosh, I bring in all the wishes and greetings from uh, the entire Speed Medical Institute. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot, sir. For scoring a topmost rank and a great rank and a good rank or rank number 71, a NEET SS 2021 DM Cardiology as a Speciality. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot. Actually, with that, without the help of uh, Speed Institute, I wouldn't have been here, sir. I'm very sure about it. Actually, I will give a brief history about myself, sir. Actually, I am from Chennai, basically. I did my UG MBBS from uh, Meenakshi Medical College, a private medical college. So, I didn't have a great exposure about uh, know-how or how to do the neat PG or super specialty for that matter. I was a 2009 batch student, sir. I think exactly in the year 2012 or 13, I joined the speed class. In the third year itself, I joined your class. And I think it was in Chepok, sir. If I'm not wrong, it was in Chepok in a huge stadium with uh, around 1,000 people there. I very well remember. And it's been 10 years. When only after 10 years, I've been able to interact with you in person, sir. You have always been a great role model to us. And I have no doubt about that. Uh, because... Uh, even when there were 1,000 people in the hall, 1,000 students, you were able to reach every one of them, each and every one of them. That is the kind of impact you had on us. So it gives some motivation rather than just uh, studies. Everyone can teach you, anyone. You know, I can teach uh, 10 people, the other person can teach 100 people. But reaching all the 100, reaching all the 1,000 people, getting into their minds and making them, yes, we have to do it. That is what separated the uh, speed classes 10 years back. I very well remember. I have no doubt about that. Uh, so after I uh, finished my MBBS, I did my NEET, uh, NEET PG exams. I cleared it with a rank of 585, All India rank. And uh, I did my NEET PG from, uh, I made my uh, MD General Medicine from Madurai Medical College. Sir. I am a junior of uh, Dr. Karthik A. Your uh, rheumatologist, sir. I, uh, there are a few people who are very important to me. And the first and foremost, I have to talk about someone. Uh, and uh, I couldn't do it uh, initially when I uh, joined you. But uh, he is the first person I need to talk about. And he is Dr. J. Sangumani, sir. Uh, Professor Dean Madurai Medical College, sir. I think uh, Karthik sir, would have told you about him. There's no doubt about that. Uh, uh, he is such an inspiration just like you, sir. You do it to the mass, he does it in person, sir. He, he was a mentor for bringing up the students. He was the God, godfather, sir. Correct. He yes. was the godfather. There is no other person. First and foremost is Dr. Professor Dr. J. Sangmani, sir. I want you to personally share this content to him, personally, sir. Because he is such a nice person and Karthik himself doesn't begin his classes without his photo initially. He is such a nice person. So I joined there three years, I gained a lot of knowledge and uh, I, j I didn't just uh, stop with the academic part of it. I was socially involved with him so that the kind of care he gives to people, the kind of things he does to people, the way he talks, everything had influenced me in such a way that I thought maybe we should do something different that no one else has done after completing my MD general medicine. So that's why I came out, uh, I was a gold medalist from uh, Madurai Medical College in the Department of Cardiology. Wow. So I got, gotten my awards from uh, Professor Dr. Amudan, a retired uh, professor of cardiology in uh, Madurai Medical College. But uh, as soon as, uh, as I came out of uh, my uh, PG uh, examination, I think I completed my examination after uh, first uh, COVID day, yeah, I think it was in September 4. September, I was not convinced with, uh, I was already preparing for uh, DM Medical Oncology. And I uh, came out, uh, but I was not ready to go for going to DM course as such. Uh, although I was a bright student, uh, my mind was saying we have to learn something else, something different. That's how I started and uh, I took over a hospital. Wow. <laughs> At the age of 29, September 6th, just two days after finishing my MD exam, I didn't get my results also. I took over a hospital. Uh, it was a very, the name was not that good. You would have known this name, DRJ. The name is DRJ. It is in Kolathu. You would have known this name. I took over. I renovated the place wholly. I, I slept there. I used to sleep there. I renovated the place. 
and uh, in the second wave of covid i treated more than uh, 150 patients there sir without any pulmonologist any anesthetist no no one i used to take care of all the patients in the second wave of covid i was staying there uh, 24 hours and i was prepared and i gave my best to the society and i was side by side working in government also uh, after a point i couldn't do that so i started continuing there after a point i thought maybe we shouldn't stop here because uh, people also record there are a lot of md general medicine physicians here and uh, the requirement for cardiology is still high and uh, i always had that passion for cardiology i al- i was already academically a bit stronger than others so i thought i would uh, have to work with the cardiology i was very sure about that but uh, after a point i was like uh, i didn't have the time because i used to work 12 hours i i need to take care of the administration take care of patients i need to do everything if you you can also see the drg hospital review sir i have seen it i, I remember it i don't know you are the person behind it i saw uh, one day at that route i went and uh, even on big board is there yes sir yes i am that santosh sir. Uh, you yes, are the santosh sir <laughs> now i could call it i saw very big board white uh, background and blue dr santosh uh, was there and uh, i thought there is one person who is active and he is uh, now uh, doing the work actively here i thought so but today i am talking to him exactly sir you would have seen the difference in the hospital visibly you would have seen the difference sir. that is how much i had worked for that hospital but i didn't get to what i had to uh, i didn't get the returns what i had to so i felt uh, no this is not the right thing to do i think uh, now is the age to do my cardiology also so i was working there and i had to in the meantime in all the time that i got the remaining time that i got i used to sleep by 2 o'clock 3 o'clock 4 o'clock get up again at uh, 8 o'clock 9 o'clock i have to, I have to go to the hospital I have to be there at 9 again midnight and all i have to study uh, without dr azim i would not have been able to complete the syllabus july month i started july or august only i started but every day i used to make sure that i took all the notes i understood everything as soon as i took the notes i had any doubt i have to make sure that there is nothing i don't remember or that, that i don't understand that is more important what i understand is more important than what i remember so i understood everything uh, so the process was slow but i was not sure whether i would get the rank because uh, my taking care of a hospital doing this that i i was not very sure whether i could do that last two months i went all in sir last two months i went all in with the available notes i was studying repeating everything studying 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 doing everything I, that i could do as soon as the exam got completed i went into the examination room i i, I completed the exam i came home i told my wife just one thing i will definitely clear this exam i didn't have the time and i wanted to prove myself and others that i could do more than just take care of a hospital so i didn't have the time but uh, without that notes i wouldn't have been possible i wouldn't have been able to study the entire bronwall book and uh, again start uh, revising the book and again getting the rank that is practically not possible sir. i think it is just uh, a matter of four to five months that is uh, prepared but uh, the the kind of notes and the kind of explanation you used to give it was a piece of cake I I still feel my rank is low because seventy uh, one I could have done better with this uh, coaching I could have done better but with the time that I was able to study I could do only this people never believed me when I, when I went into that hospital DRG hospital when I went into it no one believed me because it was in such a bad shape that no one was even willing to get into the hospital and i was able to change it in the same way i was able to do something that uh, most people thought every padichikite vande work panite hospital la paatha paana patient la paapa na padi paana so in that situation i had cleared this rank that is more than what i had expected for i always wanted to talk to you or meet you in person sir but i never had the chance very very nice I mean, very <laughs> you, uh, your story uh, your story is very very thrilling <laughs> no one dare to take such decisions sir that is what uh, differentiated me no one would go into such a hospital or no one would uh, at that time taking a few decisions i just completed my uh, pg examination by september 4th i went in for september 6th i joined the hospital see that's how uh, entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs and a doctor uh, will be and uh, and you t- you have to take that uh, decisions and those decisions uh, will uh, definitely will give you a huge experience 
so the experience uh, will speak uh, volumes. So, because when, uh, when see, when I, I have a habit of uh, listening and I, I keep listening to my teachers, uh, my students, my colleagues, everybody I used to listen, I keep learning. So, I just accumulate, uh, 20 years I am doing this. So, I just uh, listen. Then, uh, so, uh, the very idea of me doing uh, this is one, you could assist help someone to go to next stage of the career. And as we doing it, I am getting to know one person more in my life. Today, I get to know Dr. Santosh. And uh, so, so our network uh, increases, we keep knowing people and we make friends in our community. So, uh, that is how all about. And uh, I really appreciate and I congratulate the way you have worked up your career and uh, for sure I will tell you one day you will build one like a Madras medical mission that is 100 percent once you finish uh, your uh, once you finish your uh, DM uh, cardiology and after that within a very short span of time you will you will make a very big organization and that organization will serve uh, doctors paramedics patients so, you have that uh, with you and uh, that skill is uh, very important. I appreciate that skill for you to run it and uh, so that is very, very uh, important. Definitely. To get a recognition not just for my rank and for my efforts to do, do the hospital, take care of the hospital, you have given me that privilege that you have told me that yes, you have done something that is uh, that means a lot. Sir. Because I just didn't do one thing. I had to do two things at the same time and I, I did the, did my best. And I hope at some time, that is my aim, sir, actually. That is my aim. I have to build a hospital. I have to establish a name for myself. This is just one small, spa, small part. This need super specialty rank is just a small part of what my life has to be in the next 20 years. See, actually, there are two important points in life. One important point is a start point where there is a passion into join medicine. So that decides yes. for a career in medicine. And yes. this is this point where you are right now in taking a yes. DM cardiology seat. This is the final yes. point of yes. your image building. And uh, oh. this is the image that you are going to carry till the rest of the life. That okay. at any point of time from now on, they say Dr. G. Santosh cardiologist. Any, anyway, so that is the speciality. It's not only the speciality; it is a brand that you yeah. carry with you. So, and this is what concludes uh, the yes. entire uh, journey of your yes. academic uh, uh, okay. achievements, from starting from medicine and ending up in a speciality. That's it. You, you don't have anything beyond this. That's it. This is this yeah. are the recognized degrees in the country. And once you finish this, anything can be fellowship and all that after that. But this is what it is and you do it. Finish. Chapter closed. Then it's a package. Then based on that, you start as a practice in uh, cardiology. Correct? So, yes, so that's, that's, how, that's how it is. And uh, you have uh, entered all that uh, circle well. And also, <laughs> finale final is also good. And then once you finish it, nobody can catch you. That's it. Chapter closed. <laughs> after that, you will have... You have your degree with you, you have an achievement with you and you have a great entrepreneurial skill, skillship in your mind and that will sure it will make you to put in a great institution in cardiology and uh, that will be good and that will be good and, uh, and being in a medical background as a cardiology by itself and putting an institution across, uh, it will be like one triple M. I am telling you today in another 5-6 years time definitely we will have an opportunity to meet. At the same time, you will discuss with me. Uh, that sir, we had a discussion. I'll come back to you, sir. For any doubts, I'll come back to you. Maybe in another five years, I'll be coming back to you, getting advice on what to do, how to do, and when to do, sir. Definitely, I'm so happy that I met you today, sir. Virtually, at least, but I met you. Wishing you and wishing you all the very best and all the thank success you. for a great career ahead. Doctor, whom you thank want you. to thank and uh, and whom the message that you want to give to students and who want to thank, kindly do so. Yes, sir. I want to thank God Almighty first, my mom and dad, because uh, they were the two interested upon me and uh, they told me, yes, you can join MBBS, we will spend for you, not an issue, go there, do whatever you need. After that, when I came out, it was purely my chief, Dr. J. Sangumani, Cardio uh, Dean Madhuri Medical College, no one else. So, uh, I have to thank him so much from deep, from within my heart. Yes, such, uh, so much of my love. 
So I want to tell him that. And uh, I definitely thank my wife, Dr. J. Monica. She was sitting with me. I was preparing for my needs of a specialty. And she was sitting with me for my like, last so dinner. She was sitting with me in the last uh, one week. You know, she was sitting there with me, spending her time with me so that I don't get carried away. Uh, and uh, I also want to thank my friends, everyone. And uh, Mr. D. Rajapa, he is the chairman of uh, DRG Hospitals, who gave me the opportunity to take care of the hospital. Great doctor and uh, once again I bring in all the wishes to you and for a great career in cardiology and also a great uh, entrepreneurship in you uh, along with cardiology to build a great institution ahead and 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 wish you a great uh, time in your speciality and contribution in the speciality of cardiology and uh, and for all that your achievement is going to be advanced congratulations wishes uh, to you to all your family members to your friends relatives everyone around you uh, once again. A great career ahead and best wishes. Thank you, sir.